everyone welcome back to my channel um today we're going to be doing something a little different this video from the title is going to be everything you i feel that you need to know about me or just a couple things i went um online and i googled the um get to know me tag for youtube videos so i have some of those questions plus some questions that i saw other people doing their videos I think I want to tag like two or three other people, but um, if I do tag them, I'll let you know at the end or it'll be in my description box or caption. So today, because I have, I have both my phones, this one is so you can see me. And I have my phone here, so this is my old iPhone, my iPhone 5 or something, 5S I think. But I have some questions on here and it's going to be... Um, First off, I just want to give a little background of me. My name is Aisha, if you haven't guessed it by now. I think we're 13 videos in, so I felt like, okay, now it's the time for them to get to know me a little bit more. So my name is Aisha. Um, my name means life, so that's why I put it together, Life as Aisha. And I'm also like a lifestyle channel, um, vlog channel, beauty and fashion. So all of those things basically make up me. So that's why I decided to do life as Aisha in case anyone was wondering um and then you know the Stevie Wonder song because daughter name is Aisha life is Aisha so yeah um also I'm 24 years old I'll be 25 in January January 12th I am a Capricorn the goat because you know we end the year and we start the year so if you give it a Capricorn you're winning just FYI you're winning but um <laughs> next um we're just gonna get into the questions so question number one is what is your favorite color and you can look in this video and kind of guess but my favorite color is pink i've loved pink probably my whole life i love um every shade of pink i love hot pink light pink right now my favorite shade of pink is like blush pink and rose gold that's actually the color of my room rose gold and gold and like touches of like burnt orange something like that but um yeah that's my favorite color I also love the color lavender and lilac that, that was like my favorite color growing up um I love pink and purple like if anyone asked me when I was a child I was like what's your favorite color pink and purple so yeah question number two is how tall are you I am like five seven five eight ish Five seven five eight. What does my ID have on it? I think my ID has five eight on it. So I don't know. Um, the last time I got measured was in high school because in college they just told us to give our height. So I could have been six foot tall for all I knew. I just put the height. I just wrote it down on a piece of paper. But in high school, I think I was five seven five eight when my counselor measured me. If I'm not mistaken, something like that. Number three, cats or dogs. Um, I'm not an animal person at all. I always wanted fish. So when I actually get my own house, I was going to get it in my apartment, but I wasn't committed at that moment. So, um, yeah, cats or dogs, I would say both cats. My sister currently has two cats, so they're kind of secondhand mine, but not really. And dogs, I don't really like dogs. I don't like being around dogs. But I like the little French Bulldogs that everyone has now on videos. Those are so cute. I'm just like, those are adorable. And what are the little animals that they, they look like little bears? I think they're dogs too, but they have them like cut like a little bear. Those are just so cute to me, but I wouldn't want to own one. So if I, if, if I had to pick what I would own, fish, I can just sprinkle some food in the little fish bowl and go on about my day. And I don't, I think fish live a good, I don't know, do they? Maybe. It says, um, number four, are you in or have you gone to college? Yes, I have gone. I'm currently not in, but who knows what the future holds. But I graduated um, from the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, which is an HBCU in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Um, my major was Agricultural Plant and Soil Science, which is basically agronomy. I got my bachelor's in 2015. Embarrassing moment. <laughs> Oh, so many to tell. Um, <laughs> I have two. I want to touch on two of them. One was in high school. And at our high school, we had four wings. Like, it was first wing, second, third, and fourth wing. And 
I think this was one of those days I was either walking out of second wing towards third wing. And at our school, you could either walk underneath the canopy or you can split like if they had a split between each wing with double doors. So you could go between those. So I was walking on the sidewalk between the double doors, um, leaving out of wing two and I was approaching wing three. So I opened the door wing three and you know, I'm just, for one, I don't know why I was out of class. I think I was taking something to another teacher's class or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, class was going on, so everyone should have been in class, right? Okay, so, and I hope I don't say okay, so basically, those are my favorite words, if you haven't noticed yet. But, um, yeah, so, going in towards wing three, I was saying, talking to myself, like, talking out loud, and, you know, you know, so you see, everybody talks to themselves, like, let's just be honest here, everyone talks to themselves, but you're not supposed to talk to yourself out loud. I knew that, you know, I knew that. Of course, I knew that, right? Anywho, so I'm walking from second wing to third wing, and I'm just talking to myself out loud. I don't know what about. And some guy, he was like a senior. I mean, he wasn't a senior. He was in my senior graduating class. I doubt he even watches this video. I saw him actually not too long ago. This is funny. But, um, yeah, anywho, so he was, um, he was walking too in the hallway too, and I'm just walking in, and you know, I'm looking at a piece of paper and looking up, you know, watching where I'm going, and I'm just talking to myself, and he was like, "You talking to yourself?" And, <laughs> and I just looked, and I was just like, "What?" <laughs> I knew what he said, and he repeated his question, and I was just like whatever leave me alone or something and he started laughing uh -huh, she talking to herself so I was just like rolling my eyes and kept walking but I was like oh my god <laughs> once I got past him I was just like oh well like who cares you talk to yourself too but um nonetheless it's not really embarrassing it's more so funny now but it was a little embarrassing then I'm just like why why was he in the hallway anyway like i have one i have questions for you too sir since you want to ask me am i talking to myself one why are you talking to me two why are you in the hallway three go to class four yeah we're just gonna pretend like we didn't see each other okay good okay yeah um and my next embarrassing moment now this one is actually embarrassing i low key and still embarrassed about it now but not not really i i've learned to laugh at myself over the years when I do crazy things or not so smart things, so I just go with the flow now. But um, this was actually, I think I was either a sophomore or a junior in college. I think a junior in college. And me and my best friend, we had decided we were going to go to the probate. And on our campus, the probate was held at the Hazard, which is the building right across like this, what do you call it? I guess old gym or something. It's the ROTC building too. Um, across from our campus basically um they have the pro base there so we had decided last minute are we gonna go so it was me her and like two other girls we were cool with at the time and in and, and uh, two other girls so it was like us it was uh, me and my best friend one two and like four other girls we came together or we either came as i think all four of us came and then we met two other people there but when we got there it was packed because we were late so we had a long line getting in, had to get stamped and all this stuff I had to be paid. So we go in and we kind of like squeeze in somewhere um, in the hazard they have. They don't really have bleachers. They have like wooden, like wooden bleachers, I guess you could say. So it's like a really old building that they shouldn't even have anything at anymore. I don't know how it looks now because I graduated two years ago, but I mean, I don't know. Oh, so, yeah. Um. We were there and, it, you know, at the probate, everyone stands up. Everyone is trying to see who's about to come offline and all that stuff. So, we're standing we're standing there, like, sitting down. And we was like, we can't see because it was, like, so many people in front of us. So, I don't know who had the idea. Someone had the bright idea to, let's stand on top of one of, like, the little bleachers. Like, let's, let's all stand up there. So, I think it was a good... Four of us standing there. Yeah, because the other two girls, they were sitting in a row in front of us. So, us four stood up there. I'm already thinking, like, this is not that stable. Why are we up here? But I was just like, oh, well. 
go with the flow go with the flow okay so after whomever was on the floor finished it was like okay we finna get down but it wasn't like a plan and action or thought put towards it everyone just kind of started stepping down off the thing like while it was wobbling so i think the other two girls on this side they stepped down i was i was like right here i was the second person and my best friend was on the, the end i think and she stepped down and it's me and her were getting off. She's like holding on to me. I'm just like, oh my God, somebody's about to fall. I like, you know how you know something is about to happen. You just feel it happening. So, of course, I feel, I guess, the hardest. Of course, I did. Um, and my friend, she kind of stumbled a little bit too. But all I know is I would you know, up reaching out towards them. And one of them, somebody pulled me up. And up to girls in front of me. Yeah, they got a laugh out of it or whatever. And I wasn't, it wasn't humorous to me. I was just like looking at my friend and them on the other side. I'm just like, yeah, this y'all fault. I'm like, we should have all got off at once. Like, no, this was a bad idea. Mind you, I'm just like, everyone was not, everyone was paying attention to the probate. So no one was really looking at us. I don't know who behind me saw, but I didn't look around. I'm just like, um yeah i'm unbothered even though i just fell um but i didn't hurt myself or anything and the crazy thing is this guy was texting at the time he um he had texted me i think it was like hours later after he was like i saw you tonight and i was just like oh really i was like yeah i was in and out i wasn't there long um and i was just like why you didn't speak yada 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 the whole time i'm thinking to myself it seemed like to say he saw me fall, like, because he was sitting on the opposite side, I think, of the thing. Because we, we were on the, the right side, like, to more towards the door. And it was, like, a whole other set of bleachers. And you know how gym is set up. So, he was sitting on that side. So, I was just like, I'm not going to say anything. Hopefully, he doesn't. And then, yeah, we're just going to act like it didn't happen. But those are my two embarrassing moments. Maybe you all get a laugh out of it. I mean, I can laugh at it myself now. Number eight. What is your favorite drink? Okay. Um, drink. Drink. Um, okay. If I'm talking about like a soda, I like Dr. Pepper. Anyone who knows me, I love Dr. Pepper. I don't care what anyone has to say about Dr. Pepper. I've been loving Dr. Pepper since B2K did the Dr. Pepper commercial years ago. If you know what I'm saying... Because I stand for B2K and I hopefully, hopefully they do a reunion tour or something. And Love and Hip Hop episode coming up. Jay Boog is going to be on there. He was my favorite member, Jay Boog and Omarion. I like Fizz too. We're not, we're not going to talk about that fourth member. But um, yeah, Jay Boog was bae. So yeah, they need to come back. Favorite drink. Um, <laughs> I like Dr. Pepper. Um, what else? Um... If, we're, if I'm trying to pick between Coke and Pepsi, I would go for Coke. As far as alcoholic drink, I love margaritas, mango, peach, pineapple, any type of margarita. that If it's mixed well, I like it. Um, I also like Long Island iced teas. You know, sometimes I do. TGI, TGI has a good Long Island. And I think, oh, no. my What is wrong with me? My favorite alcoholic drink of all time is a pina, pina colada. I love pina coladas. Um, number nine, what would you, this is like a flash in here, what would you, have you or what would you have named your children? I have no kids right now, fingers crossed, um, but <laughs> just joking. Yeah, I don't have any children right now, so, um, I do have a name picked out and it's in memory of my mom and it would be Enila Malay. I just think it's so cute. Me and my sister are kind of going back and forth over the name, but it's my name. I came up with it. She claims she came up with Malay. I'm like, no, I came up with the whole thing. But anywho, it's my mom's name was Delmaline, so it's her name turned backwards, like reverse. So, you know, Malay, if I have a little baby girl, um, if I have a boy, I have no idea. Maybe a junior, if the dude is not trifling, then... <laughs> God willing, we don't want, we don't need to be having children by trifling guys, ladies. It works out with me and whomever I have a child with because I'm speaking this into existence with my husband. Um, I think I want to have him be a junior. Unless I don't have a cute name. Like if you have a cute name, then yeah, you should have whatever your name is, junior. Like I just feel like 
all men should have a drinker. I, I don't know. I just feel like that. Um, number 10, single or taken? I knew this question was on here somewhere. I, mind you, I didn't even go through these questions beforehand. So, someone, I may skip. I don't know. Single or taken? Um, depends on how you define it. I define taking as in a relationship, no one else is coming in, either being seriously dating or um, engaged or married. That's what I define as taking. So our single, single is, it has a little wiggle room. And the reason why I said it is because I consider single being what I am basically now. And it's single, but I am open to dating. So, dating, basically, I still consider this single. Because unless you have defined your relationship with whomever you are with as, oh, I don't, I'm not talking to no one else, I'm not entertaining anyone else, then you're not single. You're single if you're not entertaining anyone else and you may be trying to date someone else to get to know them. They're still considered single because you're dating. Now, um, if you are in a committed relationship then you're taken but you're still single until someone has committed towards you until whomever you're talking to has said that you're the only person that they're with and you know for a fact that but if they're talking to someone else say if you're in a situation which I don't condone but if you're in a situation and um, the other person in the relationship is in a situation as well then technically both of you all are playing relationship but are both acting single you get what I'm saying. I'm single but dating. To answer the question. Um, number 11. What's your idea of an idea first date? Oh my god. I just want roses and rose petals. Okay, no. Um, for my idea of first date, I want... It depends on how long you've known a person. If this is in a first date, like a blind date, then I would say just a regular dinner in a movie. Um... Because if you're just getting to meet someone, you want to meet them out in a public setting, around a lot of people. Um, you wanna you wanna do the dinner because at the dinner you get you you get just get to basically know the person. You get to know if they're gonna be cheap on your food. If they're gonna ask you to pay for your food, which if they ask you to pay for your food, then you have no business being there with them. But um, you get to know like what type of food they like. Um, if they're gonna just try to stare at you while you're eating. Yeah, people are weird. Um, so you get to know a lot of things by going to, out to dinner with someone on a date. Also, you get to know if they're a gentleman, if they um, practice courting, if they practice opening the door for you. Um, just being a gentleman, basically. Also, movie because, for one, movie tickets are a little, they're not that cheap now. <laughs> so, <laughs> if, they try, if they pay for your food and take you to the movies and stuff, then... At least that says that, okay, they're willing to shell out a, a good amount of money, like $50 to $100 on you on the first date. That's, I think that's an adequate amount. If you're trying to go on a date with somebody for $20 or less, then you don't need to be dating because you you can't even afford to be in a relationship. Shade. But um, I would say moving. Also, you get to see how they act with you in a dimly lit environment. Like, if they're all on you, if they're doing too much on the first date, then you know that they're only in it for sex. So, X them out the way. Um, but my ideal first date, I, I kind of want to do something, if it's not a dinner in the movie, I kind of want to do something a little adventurous. Or something just cute, like painting and silk, painting and silk or something like that. Or adventurous, I mean like going to like... Uh, amusement park, going to bowling, doing something like outside of maybe your or his comfort zone to kind of really show you like, okay, this is how they react in this type of situation. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes you have to take people out of their comfort zone to see if they can basically survive. Um, number 12. How did you get into fashion? Well, look, this question, I mean, this could be a whole video, this question. I'm going to try to keep it short. How did I get into fashion? I got into fashion basically since I was like a kid. I was really big into sneakers. I'm sure most of you know that by now. And I still am. I was really big into sneakers. So I would start off just like by 
wanted every sneaker that came out every weekend I wanted all the newest kicks whatever and from there you know when you have fly shoes on you don't think you fly and stuff you have to have your outfit like everything has to come together I'm really big on having everything flow so um, that's when I kind of um, more so got into fashion I started like I will always pick my shoes first and then I started Oh, I gotta find me an outfit, and I started really thinking about it, really planning out what how I wanted to wear my outfit. I knew I didn't want to look like the next person. Like, of course, everyone may have like similar similarities in their style, but no one is gonna have your exact style unless you're trying to copy somebody. But um, yes, yeah, so I always wanted to be really original in like my fashion. Um, and of course, I mean, I'm not saying I don't get inspired by other people. I definitely do. Celebrities, you know, whomever. But, um, yeah, so I always wanted I to, always wanted, I always wanted to be different with my fashion. And I go through different phases with it. Um, at one point, I was really big into the whole thrifting thing. I was really big into vintage stuff, which I still kind of am. I want to get more back more into it. I just, I gotta find good places to thrift. So if you're in the Memphis, Tennessee, Mississippi area, let me know below, like, good thrifting places, good vintage spots and different stuff. Hopefully when I go on my family trip upcoming, um, I can try to find some vintage shops or something in the area. I know Atlanta is a good place to go, but every time I go to Atlanta, I just have a totally different agenda in mind, so I don't really make it thrifting. But, um... Yeah, so that's basically the, um, but yeah, I was describe my fashion since, um, is, like, trendy at times, different, unique, creative, um, street wear sometimes, tomboy chic, modern, I'm, I'm really all over the place. If you follow me on Instagram or social media, you know that I could be girly girl one day, I can be, like, street hip the next day like I really don't put myself in a box that's one thing I feel like with fashion don't ever put yourself in one dimension never be one dimensional more into fashion and stuff really in college you know that's when Instagram came into play and I would be like I gotta get my outfit pick for today my old TD that's my favorite hashtag but um or KOTD kicks of the day. Um, so I would, I would, it started there just taking pictures and stuff. And then people started noticing me. People were like, oh, she be fresh, different stuff like that. Not to say, like, I used to dress. I used to, I've been on my dressing game a while. I used to dress and stuff in high school, middle school, but I never took pictures. So, like, I don't have, like, oh, let me go back and find this. Like, I have a couple pictures from high school, but as far as head to toe pictures, that really didn't start until freshman year of college, back in 2011-12. Yeah, people started DMing me like, oh, where did you get this? Or, oh, I just look up to you fashion-wise. You know, different stuff like this. So I started thinking to myself like, oh, people are noticing me. Like, I'm, they're noticing me a little bit. So, maybe I'm doing something right, you know? So, that's how I kind of went. And then I just kind of started going harder with it. Um, as far as shopping-wise, I always, I did a... How to start on a budget video and it's like legit my real life it hasn't been my life forever now i used to just you know when i was spending my mama's money i didn't care what the stuff cost but now that i'm spending my own money um i care about how much i'm spending on stuff okay i want to speed this video up um let's see here that was number what 12 13 i don't want to do that question PC or Mac, I would say both. Um, I have a PC. I've always had a PC. We've always been an HP family, Hewlett Packard family. So um, I've always been an HP, I mean, a PC person. I love iPhone though, and I have several, have, have, have had several iPhones over the years. I've had iPad, um, I've had iPod. So I would say both because I want to buy a Mac. I just don't want to shell out the money for a Mac. So my birthday is coming up Christmas. If anyone wants to buy me a MacBook, you know, I'm re I'm waiting on it. Oh, iOS versus Android, iPhone versus Android. Clearly, here, people, Team iPhone. Um, what are some of your favorite TV shows? I watch a lot of TV. I mean, 
I'm just going as far as old night. I love 90s. I love the 90s era. So I would give just my favorite 90s shows. Um, Different World, Martin, Fresh Prince, Moesha, um, Jamie Foxx. That came out early 2000s, so I'm not that. Um, did it? I think so. What else? What else? What else? Living Single. Um, 90 shows. 90 shows. I can't believe I'm really. I can't really think right now. Um, I've named a good amount. I don't know, but um, I love 90s, early 2000s. So when you think of early 2000s, I think of 101. That was my show. I know every episode word for word. I love me some Kyla Pratt. Brianna was my best friend in my mind. 101. I actually, you know, when you had the VCR, I actually used to record these episodes on the blank tape. Yeah, I was legit into that show. So 101, half and half. Um, Girlfriends. Girlfriends is my show. Um, what else? It's crazy because I watch pretty much these same shows every day. And I can't even think of them, but that's a good that's good enough. Um tea or coffee. Neither. But I like I do kind of like tea. I like chai tea. I like tea. Um I don't like coffee because it stains your teeth. And I don't want to be hyped on cat um hyped up on caffeine. So oh I forgot this question. Why did I decide to move back home? I was going to do a separate video on this, but I decided against it for certain reasons. Um, but just the short story of it, I decided to move back home because for one, I was living in Michigan for close to two years. If anyone doesn't know this, um, I'm, I was born in Memphis, Tennessee, and I was raised in Mississippi. So I and I went to school in Arkansas. So I'm a Southern girl at heart. Moving up north was a big cultural shock for me. Just basically, I mean, I've worked up north with when with having a position with you, the United States Department of Agriculture. All of my internships, all of my job placements have been up north. So I wasn't I wasn't unfamiliar with the area. It was just the point that I had never lived long term in an area, and this was basically my. First, this was my job straight out of college. So I graduated in May. I moved in at the end of September. No, yeah, at the end of September. I think my first day was like October or something. So yeah, everything was just really fast paced. It was my first time living on my own long term. Um, I was just basically by myself in a sense until I started meeting new people up there. And it was it was a difficult experience. I'm not even gonna lie about it. Um Yes, I did get adjusted to it. I think I can adjust to anything well. But when I lost certain people in my life, my mom passed away. Um, my grandma passed away. My mom's mom. Yeah, um, one of my cousins, my older cousins passed away. All of this happening while I was in another state. Basically back-to-back -back months. So it was a difficult thing. I was dealing with pain. I was dealing with the loss of loved ones all kind of by myself except when I was starting to come home also I started coming home very often if anyone noticed I was taking flights every other week it was expensive I was wasting money so I had to think like Aisha get yourself together here get in one spot I really just I had to start grieving basically I had to go through the grief process and I didn't want to do that alone I didn't want to do that in my apartment yes I actually liked my apartment it was like a nice environment. It was for a good price. Um, I didn't have to deal with any crazy neighbors or anything. The people in the office, they were pretty cool. Like, I could just get my packages, my mail, leave work, go to the mall. Like, I was just having a leisurely good time. I was stacking my money up. Like, it wasn't a bad experience. It was just, you know, it wasn't for me. Like, that's honestly what I can say. It wasn't for me. Not to mention the weather. I had never been in cold weather like that before being in Michigan. Um, I had some family in Michigan, like I had been to Chicago before when I was younger, but nothing that I could remember actually being that cold. I and mean, I mean cold, like as soon as you step, I will layer, put so many layers on, put so many under things underneath my clothes on. I would walk outside and I would just feel frozen, like as soon as I stepped out the door. So it was no joke, and the people there were like. 
Oh, this is a mild winter. You brought some of the heat with you from the south. Like, this is pretty warm up here. And I'm just like, oh, so this this is this is a good winter here. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, yeah, let me plan my escape. But um <laughs> anywho, I had like the best supervisor ever. Like out of all the people, because I this was like my third or fourth real job in my life. So well, I should I should say my career, but yeah, he was like the best supervisor. That was my main reason for not wanting to transfer home. It's because like yeah, he was legit. Like he was cool people. Yeah, um, what other reasons? I mean, I do feel like some of the people I came in contact with, some of the other workers that was around my age group, I do feel like one girl in particular was very a very petty individual. Um, I feel like she low key tried to use me, but. I mean, that's neither here nor there. I'm all about positivity and I'm all about karma. So, what you dish out will hit you back in the face. But, um, yeah, other than that, I do feel like I met some great people. I met one person in particular. She's cool people. Like, I still am in contact with her. Um, a couple of the guys up there that were cool. Like, I would still hang with them to this day if the opportunity presented itself. So, yeah, that's in a long um kind of short story just to sum it up basically due to weather location being away from family and being far from home not having a good network of real world people that i was extremely close to up there um i don't i don't like i love living by myself I'm not gonna say i didn't love that it was just the fact that i was so far off like even on weekends i had to kind of try to find stuff to do and I'm not a loner. Like, I'm really not. If I go places, nine times out of ten, I'm with somebody because somebody got to take my picture. So, yeah, I just, I can't do it. Like, when I, when I came back home, I was like, do I want to get an apartment? Uh, and I decided against that move back home because I was just like, for one, um, if I'm going to pay bills somewhere, then I'm going to live there. And two, um, I'm just not ready to take this step yet. Even though I do feel like I've taken this step already. I've got my own my own apartment. I've gotten I've paid bills. I did all that. I still pay bills now. But as far as you know, I pay utilities, all that good stuff. But I personally I don't want to pay rent to anyone else again. I want to own something. So I'm in the process of figuring it out. I've hoped to be married with twins because i do want twins but i will settle for one little girl or a little boy whatever god blesses me with but i hope to be there by the age of 27 26 so I'm, I'm about to turn 25 in a couple months so i give myself i give myself two years to really seriously like stick with trying to be with one person and date somebody like and develop a bun i thought that i had that but i mean life happens you know, I'm not ashamed to say, like, I've been cheated on before. Like, it is what it is. But, never had an ex that didn't want me back. So, <sighs> yeah. Um, <laughs> this video wasn't for this, honestly. It really wasn't. Well, do I have any more questions that are relevant? I, I think I've talked enough. I honestly think I have talked enough. So, yeah. Thank you all for tuning in to this video. As usual, I'm all over the place. But I did have fun doing this. Let me know if you want me to do any more tags. I know I want to do the um, the best friend tag with my best friend. As soon as she gets on board with the idea. And we think of some questions and some good and, you know, some fun ideas for it. So I know I want to do that tag. I'm not sure if this is going to come up anytime soon or if it will be sometime next year. Who knows with us. But uh, thank you for watching this video. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Oh, and a little bonus question that I just looked down and saw. What are my pet peeves when it comes to dating? So this list may be, it may be a little long, so I'm not going to touch on everything. Um, probably two or three things. But one of my pet peeves is just being kind of repetitive. You know, like... The same structure of text every day. For one, I'm not a huge text person. I'm more of a call me, FaceTime. I want to know what you're doing. I want I want to talk to you for a long time. So, 
yeah, you have to put some time aside if you want to talk to me. I'm one of those people. So if you're one of those, what you doing? Where you at? Come see me. Send me a pic. Um, what's what's my favorite one? Um, pull up on me. Um, come through. What else? Come see me. You laying down without me. Um, <laughs> you taking a shower without me. Like, <laughs> uh, it's so corny. Like, stop it, guys. Stop it. The next thing is DMing me. Um, it's not a pet peeve. The only, my only thing with it is this. Like, if you've been hitting me up in my DM or shooting your shots, I shall say, for more than two or three days, if you're still shooting your shot, from last year then um yeah stop it no that's not a good look sir it's not a good look like kill it but if you genuinely want to talk to someone and if you genuinely like somebody and the only time you see them is on social media you see that you are located close to them then it's absolutely nothing wrong with saying hey what's up i would like to get to know you through your d through the dm now when I say that's okay, that part is okay. But if you don't ask for someone's number or exchange numbers with someone within the first 10 messages, then that's a problem. Because I shouldn't still be messaging you from 5 or 6 months ago whenever you decide to slide in my DM. And you're like, what's up? Like, you be playing games. You, you know I really like you. I've been crushing on you for so long. Like... Bruh, stop it. If you like me or anything, then I should know that you like me. I should know that you have a crush on me. I should know all of these things. You shouldn't still be messaging me. For one, who's, who has time to be on social media 24 hours to just message back and forth to you? If you haven't, if the light bulb has went on in your mind to ask me for my number, then guess what? I'm just going to continue to play dumb with you or I'm not going to respond. It's going to be one of those two things. Uh, <laughs> yeah, another pet peeve. I'm really big into fashion, so you have to kind of know how to dress a little bit. I mean, like, I can help upgrade you with your own money. Now, don't be a dummy out here, sis, upgrading a dude with your own money. Don't do that. You upgrade them with their money. And you get, you're like, isn't the wrong giving your man style tips, all that good stuff? I give anyone close to me style tips. I tell my own brother, like, yeah, no, no, don't wear that. Or put these shoes on, like, I, I'm really big into it, so I don't mind helping you with your style, but you have to be open to that. Well, don't be out here thinking you fly with a Jordan hat on, Jordan t-shirt, Jordan shorts, um, Jordan socks, Jordan shoes, like, or team Jordan shoes, because I, I see some of y'all. Like, no, <laughs> no, it doesn't work. Or, I got, I got my Nike shirt on, what he said on the, on the show? I got my I got my light blue, I got my oh, Moesha, I got this blue, I got my Carolina blue, I got my baby blue. Like no. Don't wear a Nike shirt with Nike shorts or Nike pants. Like you have it's a certain way to do it. Like you wearing like the tech fleece jacket and the tech fleece pants and some fresh kicks. Yeah, that's that's dope. That's cool. But don't be out here with a t shirt you got from the clearance store and it looks like you got it from there on on the clearance area and wearing like some gym shorts or some paint like oh I hate that look like for one you look middle age you look like you're 30 plus or 40 knocking on 40 like I'm in my 20s so if you're over 35 then I consider you a little older than me so um yeah don't do that what else um what else is there I think I touched on it, but you're not going to what you're doing me to death. You're not going to do that. Either you're going to say, I want to meet up with you. I want to take you out. Um, this is the time, the day. Um, wear some dressy. Wear some casual. Um, like If you're not going to be a man, then don't step to me. Don't act like the female. Don't act like, I'm going with what you're going with. I'm, I was trying to see what you wanted to do. Like, no, quit that. Don't do that. <laughs> But um I think that's I think that's the end. I think that's all I have to say to you all.